Welcome everyone to this week's We Read Your Rights here on YouTube. My name is Janine Pike. I'm a moderator at the Poetry Kingdom and I am here tonight to read some pieces that our members have submitted this week and our topic this week was Eclipse and I also um, accepted some from some title prompts. So first I'm going to read the ones on <clears throat> the Eclipse topic. And the first one I'm going to read is by Joyce West, a lovely member of the Poetry Kingdom, and hers is entitled Solar Eclipse. If I had known the sun and moon would conjoin to eclipse the power of our undying love, would I have stayed holding on to you? If I had known that love was blind, would I have been so kind? As to give myself to you heart on sleeve oh so trusting never guessing the blackness that would then descend now in a total eclipse of unidentified time I grope on my knees with no glimmer of hope to find my way back into the light I am doomed to wander true to the belief that in an eclipse bleeding cannot be st can't be stemmed Wounds now festering as the light of my soul is totally eclipsed. I found this piece to be very powerful. I found it to be vulnerable and I really loved it. Thanks you, thank you Joyce for submitting that. I enjoyed reading it. And the second piece I'm going to read is by an admin at the Poetry Kingdom, Brandy Elaine, and it is untitled. Portend of doom, the sun kissed the moon, and now we will feel the fire. Blood from the stars, raining for Mars, calamity claiming desire. I will not steal a victory from Madonna's benedictory I am coronal crowned, destroy the town. This was great. It was um, almost like apocalyptic and I really loved it. Thank you so much, Brandy, for submitting that. And the next one I'm going to read is by Joanne Lee and it is untitled. How we cried when the light flicked and died, a meter with an itch flattening the switch. Later years we simply sighed, a deep breath sparked to a sleepless glitch. How we cried when we, find, when we found you tried to feed the celestial blips that held you in stressed out grips. The very words of it all simply eclipse whatever moon it was that turned off that switch. I really loved the rhymes. I thought that it really brought you into the piece. Um, it was really great. Thank you, Joanne, for submitting that. Okay, and the next one I'm going to read is by Chaos Odensland, a member of the Poetry Kingdom and a fellow moderator of mine. And it is entitled Paths of Totality. Traversing rays, visible brilliance obstructed during the day, blocked in space, cast light upon the forecasting of darkness. The people hearkened to prophecies of extinction, shadowy engulfment, fear of abandonment, celestial bodies aligned in relative positions, rumors of umbra, a compromised situation, ushering of paranoia, ancient superstition, worthy of calamity, reasoning similar to a season winter. Panic ensues for the predict predictions are indeed dire. Kings become doomed 
and new ones are groomed. Bringing of chills cometh when warmth is quelled, as the priests gather to cast their beastly spells. Silent children, tiny heads placed within disposable boxes, shielded oculars glimpsing of astro through a pinhole. Projected in back, it glows, photons absorbed upon retinas, invading souls as slugs on glassy, grassy knolls entering fertile domes. I loved all the word choices. I loved the um, feeling of the astral aspect to this about um, how he brings in the the ancient times of what people believed. It was really great. I enjoyed reading it very much. Thank you, Chaos, for submitting that. And the last one I'm going to read on the Eclipse prompt is by Lee Hayward. And it is entitled Luna Solitude. Time's an illusion. I will see her by and by. Eclipse of beauty appearing from the darkness, glowing from her solitude. I really enjoyed this. I liked how much content you got out of so few words. And I really appreciate you submitting this, Lee. Thank you very much. Okay, and then I'm going to go on to the title prompts. And one of the title prompts was Tasting Desire. And the first one I'm going to read is by Josh West, fellow moderator and great friend of mine at the Poetry Kingdom. And it is entitled Tasting Desire. Fingers tremble as I slowly undress you, staring deep into your eyes, our lips lock. A longing so deep to show a side seen by few, the touch of our bodies, the carnal shock. Laying there, arms behind your head, the swell of your breasts rise higher. Eyes begging me to join you in the bed, playing with your nipples growing in desire. Moaning oh so gently as your legs slowly spread, your hand caresses guiding me to your other heart. In the heat of you, I am lost to a shade of red, staring at your body, excited to do my part, to be doing my part. Slipping in, heat rising with every pleasured thrust, my throbbing self, your lips spread around me. Bodies rocking as one, giving into each other's lust. The feeling inside you is a tender touch newly found. Thrusting, thrusting faster, harder, oh God, you are so tight. Your moans are so hypnotic, driving me on. Excitement builds, you brand me with your lover's bite. At the point where desire and lust rule, thought is gone. Climax is coming, I can feel it, climax is coming. Our world is silken lace woven be below your waist. You feel it too, your body starts thrumming. Get on your knees fast give my desire a taste. Now this was the first erotic poem I've ever read, um, spoken on a video. So I really enjoyed it. I thought it was hot, full of passion, and I really enjoyed reading it. Thank you, Josh, for submitting it. And the next one I'm going to read on the title prompts is by Brandy Elaine admin at the Poetry Kingdom, and it is entitled Signs of Eternity. Encountering Ionios, Ionios, <clears throat> encountering Ionios, he's fire in the dark. All I'm breathing for is a taste of his spark, igniting dissolution, reunited at the bridge. I never thought I'd find a reason worth the life I've lived turn me to ash, commence to laugh and dance upon the embers. And when they fade and retrograde, we'll see who still remembers. I've never heard of Ionios, so I had to look that up. And Brandy's always teaching me new words, and I love that. I loved her whole... Um, 
her whole thought process here. I love the rhyming scheme. It's always great and powerful. Thank you for submitting that, Brandy. The final one I'm going to read is by a member of the Poetry Kingdom, Dale Warren. And it is entitled, Tasting Her Desires. Her whispers of love echoed along the beaten path. She had no secrets of aftermath. She longed for the signs of eternity. Losing the horizon to reach her fondest destiny. Strangers of life they had become. For she no longer had him under her thumb. As hours fade into the night and life is no longer going right, still burning within is a passionate fire. As she takes a bite, she enjoys tasting her desires. I, I really enjoyed this. I thought that it had a very heartfelt, warming feeling. Um, like a like a love story I really enjoyed it thank you for submitting that Dale and that is all I have for this week look for the prompt for um, our next show and thank you for everyone um, who submitted and everyone watching you guys have a great one thank you